In 2018, the world's longest desert ultramarathon was run across Dubai, 270 kilometers in just five days. That's 168 miles. This race uh, on the Moon Desert uh, Ultramarathon, each and every single day, was a distance of longer than a marathon. It's not something that is taken on lightly. The El Marmoun Ultramarathon is 19 kilometers longer than the previous longest desert run, the Marathon de Sable in Morocco, and has attracted 214 runners from around the world. Good morning, uh, I'm Magda, and this is... Hi, I'm Ian, uh, from New Zealand. I'm from California. Yeah, today is 70 k's in the desert. Yesterday was stage one, we did 50 k's. Tomorrow's the big day, 100 k's, and then one more 50k and we're done. Cruise home, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun today. A standard marathon is just over 42 kilometers, or 26.2 miles, based on the fabled run by a Greek soldier between Marathon and Athens to announce the Athenian victory over the Persians in 490 BC. But there are risks to pushing the body to such extremes. An ultramarathon is a sports deficit activity. There is no way a body can take in as many calories as it burns at the same rate. So the water and the sodium content is extremely, extremely important. There was one athlete that on the first day collapsed unconscious because he did not take in the amount of hydration that he needed as well as the sodium and electrolytes. Desert temperatures can also fluctuate wildly, from freezing at night to scorching in the day. Here we are at about 25, 23, 24 K. Yeah. How's it going, Magda? It's getting a little hot. Yeah. But look at this. Really peaceful, beautiful. You can't really see anything for miles and miles or kilometers and kilometers. But we're taking it easy on the sand dunes because we want to run well at night. Cheers. The Al Marmoun Desert is part of the 15% of Dubai's landmass given over to conservation areas. When you look up, and uh, you see the dunes in the horizon. It's mesmerizing, it's beautiful, and it's something that you have to experience it to really understand how beautiful it is. The ultramarathon is part of Dubai's drive to be the sporting capital of the Middle East. Its sporting industry brings in $1.7 billion to the Emirate, with 400 events and 2 million spectators in 2017 alone. Dubai want to be anything that is setting record, tallest, fastest, biggest, and so forth. So it made sense to, uh, to create such an event here where it is harder than most other ultra marathons in sand, and we have just done it. Mm -hmm.